ये है चीफ एजेंट के पंख जो हमें चलते हुए अभी मिले तो एक दो है तो मतलब शायद अटैक हुआ हो और शायद वो निकल कर बच कर निकल गया हो Radio telemetry is being used to track cheer pheasants that have been released in the wild and to check on their well-being. तो माइनस की ओर अगर सिग्नल आ रहा है तो हम पक्षी के नजदीक है जितना हम इसको ऊपर को प्लस की ओर जाएंगे उतना पक्षी से हम दूर है मैं भी माइनस में गया थोड़ा इसका क्या मतलब है इसका मतलब हम पक्षी के नजदीक जा रहे हैं कल शाम को ट्रैक किया था ये और थर्ड पैन जो हमारा है यहाँ पे उसके साथ ही ट्रैक हुआ है लास्ट टाइम पे जो थर्ड शाम को पाँच बजे के आसपास उसके साथ जो है एक जंगली भी है और जो कैमरा टैब में भी आ रहे हैं वो आफ्टर अ होल डे ऑफ ट्रैकिंग द टीम फाइनली स्पॉटेड वन ऑफ द कैप्टिव ब्रेड चीर फेजेंस दैट हैड बीन रिलीज इन द वर्ल्ड 180 kilometers away in Sarahan Himachal Pradesh state bird a rare pheasant the western tragopan is waiting to be reintroduced to its native habitat in the high altitude temperate forests the challenges of transporting the birds are immense therefore Sarkhan a site closer to the pheasantry has been identified where the reintroduction of the western tragopan is already underway the western tragopan is a montane pheasant which inhabits high altitude temperate forests and it lives in an elevational range of between 2000 meters to 3700 meters the higher altitudinal ranges are uh, inhabited during the spring months and uh, the lower altitudinal ranges are where they live during the winters softly involved placing the birds in a temporary enclosure at the reintroduction site for a couple of weeks before actual release into the wild and uh, during this uh, particular period in the temporary pen uh, they are introduced to wild food items they are introduced to predator training so that the birds are kind of primed uh, before they are actually released into the wild the actual process of release as such is not very complex it's just that you identify a day and then you just leave the doors open and the birds gradually walk out into the wild At the Sarahan Western Tragopan Breeding Center, birds are tagged before release. And a satellite tagging method is used for post-release monitoring. The weight of the tag should be less than 3% of the weight of the bird and should not interfere with the normal behavior of the species. tags are also programmed by a software applications which won't be possible in the wild once we release them so we do some training part and also the bird will get acclimatized to the tags like we observe their behavior in the enclosures whether they are roosting they are climbing they are foraging as per the natural behavior which they used to do both species face several threats in the wild the key threats being habitat loss and fragmentation and livestock grazing Today both these species are threatened with a global population of less than 2000 individuals remaining in the wild. The Indian government has prioritized the conservation of these species by placing them in schedule 1 of the Wildlife Protection Act 1972. Both species are also classified as vulnerable in the IUCN red list. and included in appendix 1 of cites in situ conservation is when you are conserving the species in their native habitat wherever they exist you take up conservation measures like protection or uh, habitat improvements ex situ conservation means uh, off site conservation so you identify a species of threatened flora and fauna take out a few specimens from the wild and then put them under human care and then breed them in captivity this population which you create is intended to complement in situ conservation of the species the jujurana or king of birds is over 40 cm tall and sports 
grayish black feathers and reddish orange facial skin. The smaller, pale brown females lay three to five eggs. After an incubation period of 28 to 29 days, the eggs hatch. The chicks are raised single-handedly by the mother through the monsoon and winter. The following spring, she is ready for a new mate. In contrast, the cheer or wallix pheasants live in family groups. During the breeding season that begins in March, the smaller females lay clutches of 10 to 11 eggs. The chicks hatch after 26 to 28 days and are raised by both parents, learning survival behaviors till the next breeding cycle. Unlike other pheasants, the cheer has a dull plumage of brownish yellow feathers. The male is a little over 40 centimeters tall with a long buff barred tail and red facial skin. The cheer and the western tragopan are both vital to this ecosystem. The decline in their population impacts the many species that are their natural predators. For example, raptors, yellow-throated marten, the Himalayan weasel, and so on. They also provide an important ecosystem service by dispersing seeds. Therefore, the conservation of these species is imperative. The Himachal Pradesh Forest Department has pioneered the conservation of threatened Himalayan pheasants by establishing the Cheer Pheasant Conservation Breeding Program at Khadiyun in Chel, and also the Western Tragopan Conservation Breeding Program in Sarahan, which is the world's only facility for the conservation breeding of this species. Many precautions are taken to ensure that the birds do not become habituated to human presence. The routine cleaning of enclosures and feeding are done by specially trained keepers only. The birds are fed a mixture of seasonal fruits and mixed seeds that are similar to what they feed on in the wild. Despite the rugged, high-altitude terrain of Sarahan, the team works arduously through harsh winters and heavy snowfall. The enclosures are double-fenced and also rodent and predator-proofed. <laughs> the birds are constantly monitored by the trained team and the pheasantry is also equipped with CCTV cameras. The captive breeding of the birds also involves a considerable amount of expertise and supervision. So the population management of Western Tragopan at Sarahan and also the cheat at Khadiyun Pheasantry, they are made using a stud book. Stud book is a record of all the individuals that are housed in captivity currently and also historically with uh, details pertaining to their life history. Life history meaning date of birth, date of death, which is the parent male, which is the parent female and uh, so on for each of the birds. So all of this uh, data is entered into a software application which is called as uh, SPARKS, that is Single Population Analysis and Record Keeping System and then further analyzed with another application called as PMX. So one of the features the PMX program offers is a pairing of individuals for breeding purposes. Based on the life history information for each of the individuals that is entered into the program, say for example, the numbers in the first row indicates the unique stud book ID of each of the individuals. So if you look at 004, that is a male bird, and on the right I have selected 007 as a potential pair. And what you can see here is uh, the current genetic diversity is uh, 0.8818 and then it is adding a, a value of 0.0019 to the overall genetic diversity which means that this pair is uh, probably a good pair. Intuitively as a human we have to uh, make sure that if the pair is optimal or not but this gives the baseline information in order to establish a particular pair. 
the captive conditions are such that birds can express natural breeding behavior. Occasionally, the female western tragopan could abandon an egg. In such cases, the egg is artificially incubated and the chicks are hand-reared. So far, more than 50% of artificially incubated eggs have hatched. The reintroduction of captive-bred animals in the wild is fraught with challenges and obstacles. This highly technical and sensitive process brings new learnings every day, creating a repository of information that can be used to conserve many other species in the future. One of the most successful programs in India has been the captive breeding and reintroduction of pygmy hogs into the wild. We have seen that uh, in the wild, the main threat that they face is from the predators. And because they are in a captive secure environment, this predatory avoidance behavior is not sufficiently built inside them. So we are going to take more and more efforts to ready them for this challenge that they will face in the wild. 10 years from 2000 to 2007-8, we had only 5-6 new birds and now 2010 onwards we have a population of 30-40 has increased so that can be called as a success but the real success will be when our ultimate aim of re-establishing their population in the wild is attained. The success of these programs is largely dependent on the people who are working in these conservation breeding programs, both at uh, Sarahan and as well as in Chael. The keepers and the frontline staff work day in and out for the care and management of these birds. This pioneering ex situ conservation project is an important effort to secure the future of these vulnerable species. By conserving captive populations and simultaneously working to ensure undisturbed wild habitat, there is a good possibility for the successful reintroduction of these pheasants in the wild. However, this aim can be achieved only with the help of the local community who share the forest areas with these endangered species. Above all, steps must be taken to ensure that the forests are left undisturbed. These programs bring hope that the call of the pheasants will continue to echo through the mountains of Himachal Pradesh once again.